Oh, sorry. This is me. That's okay. Yeah. So there's not a bathroom back there. <clears throat> no, it's a. Uh, he blocked. I think there used to be, but he's putting a bathroom in. Uh, this door over here. This one is the one that he's going to put the the bathroom in. Okay, that might connect to. I don't know because I'm not used to be like a, just a sink and a toilet right there. Yeah. It was green. And the other, where that door was, there was a full bath in there. Just okay. And then there was a closet that was my husband's closet. And so, yeah, it was a, it was a good sized bathroom. So maybe it might have connected. You know, plumbing, who knows? But, yeah. And he's added, he's done, he's working on fixing this place up. Well, I knew, you know, years ago, he bought it hoping to sell it. You know, he was yeah. flipping the house, and then shit just started happening. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, the workmen didn't want to stay anymore. So, all right, let's flip it into a haunted house. <laughs> and that's where it is. That's what it's been since 2013. I think yeah. it's when they started letting people come in. Yeah, because I, I freaked out. My son sent me the link when it first, you know, up in Mysterious Monroe Street. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? We live there. That never happened. <laughs> Not to us. <clears throat> Hi. How are you? I'm going down memory lane. You want to walk upstairs, Diane? And... Yeah, I can. Okay. I'll let you go ahead. Have a couple like 19, 18, 19 year olds that thunder down those stairs. Yeah. They were, oh, kicked out the windows. Oh, yeah, they were bad. Yeah, it was a kitchen. Something real different, real different. We used to have a sink here. So they moved the sink? Yeah. And because that was one of the strange things that happened, because any time the tenant would move out, I'd have to come up and clean and do all that. Gotcha. And there was a, there was a little glass shelf. I think it had a square towel bar. And it rolled, and it shouldn't have rolled because it was square. Right. And I, and I just started saying, hey, you know, you can mess with other things, but leave, you know, don't. Like this. Because I would just talk to them. Yeah. But I never felt scared. I never felt threatened. Any weird noises that you ever heard would hear from time to time, or? No, and the only things really, I told Chris, um, it happened mostly to my son. Okay. I think I had a candle that I blew it out before I went to bed, like a little tea light candle, mm -hmm. and it was relit. But that could have been maybe I didn't get it all the way blown out. So right. I can't say for sure that was something. Um, my son it was Christmas time, and he heard he was home on the couch, and he heard something tinkle and there was an ornament moving it was tinkling and it was there was nobody there there was no wind there was no dog tail nothing and hmm. the other one was um oh the remote control he was home sick he could not find the remote control could not not looked everywhere i mean the cushions on the couch everywhere so i just laid back down and there was a remote control on the floor yeah that's happened to so, us a couple times being in here <laughs> so yeah and I know the upstairs tenants when we lived here, Jeff Connor, he had a lot more shit going on. I mean, he saw like full size apparitions. They had their anniversary clock was like here on top of the TV and it just whoosh, went off. Yeah, earlier today we were investigating downstairs in that one room that you said that you had decorated. Uh -huh. And he had a cell phone sitting on the table and we're filming live and his phone just starts yeah. moving. Like, I mean, no shit today? yeah. yeah. It's time to go. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 Hope that it will stick on me and just fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. first found out that the house had things going on, mm -hmm. um, 
I told my husband I would I wanted to come down because Eddie and his wife said you want know, to come down and talk to the spirits or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll tell him. You know, it's time to go home. Go yeah. away. And um, and he said, and I was I'm an atheist now. I wasn't then. And he said, do you believe in good spirits? And I said, yes. He mm-hmm. said, well, wouldn't there be bad spirits too? And I'm like, oh well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That kind of makes sense, but like I said, I was never, ever scared, never felt threatened, ever, and I don't feel it now. Yeah, it's just like, you know, because I mean, you lived here for how long? From 89 or 90 to 2000. 2000? Uh-huh. Yeah, so you got a good few years in here. Yeah. So it's probably like before it's set for a while, because I know in the, right. I know like towards the 90s. Or mid to late nineties when that one guy was living here, uh-huh. and then they did some stuff. Right. Yeah. So you heard about that too. Right, and I can't remember because we sold it to contract. She was real nice. He was kind of. Was Jared? Was it Jeremy? There was a couple. She was pregnant at the time. Their baby ended up dying. Oh wow. Of SIDS when they were living here, and they ended up. He was. He was heavy into drugs, mm-hmm. and she was not. But I think she became. I yeah. Went into drugs and this, they went to hell, and I don't know that, who owned it after that. I don't yeah. Know from them, I have no idea. And after that, it just sat empty for a while. And and it's not a happy house. Yeah, I mean, you it know? dates back all the way to like I said, the eighteen nineteen hundreds yeah. when that family, that the one family who lived upstairs, they were not kind to their children from the research I had done and her. Really? Yeah, like child abuse and. All kinds of crap. And then after that, like I said, then it got started. People started moving in. Like, you were living here. Uh-huh. Yeah, people living upstairs. And then the late 90s was when that guy moved in Satanist. Right. Yeah. And then I think after that, it sat empty for a while. I think, I think after you had moved out. So that's why I was asking. You probably were like the last person that maybe have that may have lived here. Probably for any length of time. Yeah. You know, maybe some in and out. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then after that, it just sat empty, and then Eddie got in, and then that's when he started doing work on the house, and then all of a sudden, he started noticing stuff, <laughs> and then he had said something like him and Sherry and Pam would come in, and uh-huh. they were upstairs in the one room, and Sherry and Pam were asking questions, and they said that there's a window up there that won't shut all the way, like you literally have to force it uh-huh. down, and they said that window slammed and the glass shattered. And that's when they ran out, but they started yeah, coming in more and more and more. And then that's when they started noticing a lot more right. darker, sinister. Right. I, I mean, some, so many people don't believe in spirit. I definitely do. I had yeah. experience because I moved, you know, the big white house down by the library, the pillars in front. Yeah. That's where we moved to from here. Oh, okay. And I had experiences there. Really? Absolutely. I was in one, and nobody, they have, they believe because they have to because there's no logical explanation for it. Yeah. It was a few months after my husband announced that he was leaving, and I only had a part-time job, and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? What what am I going to do? My mom had died, like, the 2012, so that was three years earlier. And I talked to mom, you know, mm-hmm. and she never answers, but um, I was at my kitchen table, had my laptop, and I took my bangle bracelets off, just the little metal bangle bracelets, and put them in the middle of the table, and I'm asking mom, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know, I was just really upset, and I looked away, and then I looked back. One of those bracelets was on its end, right next to my laptop, mm-hmm. and it was spinning, like you spin a quarter on its end. Oh, it was wow. Just, it wasn't real fast. It was going around, 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 and it stopped, and I didn't freak me out. I'm like, what does that mean, Mom? Am I yeah. supposed to have the air out of its tires? What yeah. are you supposed to do? That's crazy. It was crazy. And my sister said, well, some wind, there were no window open. Yeah. Like the dog's tail. I don't have a gigantic dog. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't have flipped it. So there was no explanation. No, I did not dream it. I was wide awake. I know it. So... Yeah, sometimes stuff like that happens, like, with this phone in that one room back there. Yeah. Like, just witnessing us, like... There are things that you never thought, like you see it happen in the movies, and it's like, oh, that can't be possible. Right. And then you see it happen right in front of you, and you're just exactly. awestruck by yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. can happen. And I just, my brother-in-law he and my sister, they're both fairly religious, and he said there's poltergeists. He'll believe in poltergeists, yeah. but not necessarily ghosts. I'm yeah. So people pass. Well, I'm sorry, I believe it, but. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, there wasn't a whole bunch of really cool things. We didn't have tools flying, nothing like that. Okay. So. Well, it's still cool to hear your story. Yeah. And just to 
when he told me about you, I was like, oh my God, do you think she would be down for an interview? And just, <laughs> he's like, I'll talk to her and stuff. And Eddie and Pam were wanting to know. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you already know them. Or, uh-huh. Yeah. So they probably, Pam probably didn't remember, you know, cause she's like, do you remember the, the Chris know her last name? And I t- asked him right. and he said, he's like, I think you had told me what you, you thought maybe her last name or yeah, you were in trying to got a hold of Katie and then Katie yeah. got a hold of me and I've already had, I've had your phone number in my phone anyway from doing stuff at Printed yeah. Express so yeah that was, that was cool <laughs> awesome <laughs> like that. well do you still want to do your pod thing or or you already got that going on or do what I think you were were you wanting to you said something about a microphone or did she's just walking around with a microphone oh okay gotcha okay. gotcha gotcha okay, cool. okay. All right, so I'll go take a bath in holy water and go home. Okay. I'll walk you out, Diane. And Diane, thank you for your time. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. You're very, very welcome.